strong labor markets are emerging as a crucial variable for when central banks eventually slow interest rates. In developed economies, unemployment rates remain low, and companies are complaining of labor shortages even as growth slows. That resilience is shielding consumers and keeping upward pressure on wages at a time when central banks want demand to fade. The worry is that higher interest rates will take months to show up in the employment indicators and some say that means the job market could be getting set up for an even steeper fall when the slowdown does eventually come. A scenario where inflation comes down and unemployment rises only modestly would be the best case for central banks globally, but it's unclear if policymakers can achieve their inflation goals without driving up unemployment. But right now, layoffs are scarce. The OECD said unemployment in its 38 member nations reached 4.9% in August. That rate was below or equal to the pre-pandemic level in 80% of those countries. Still, some leading players in global commerce are beginning to warn of a slowdown. Here's one theory. Worker shortages mean it's possible that some companies opt against cutting staff that they know they won't be able to hire back during a recovery, which may mean the hit to employment may not materialize for some time.